or ASCOM's success story, a model for Egypt's economic resurgence. From Egypt's serene beaches to Switzerland's snow-capped peaks, Oraskom's success lies in its ability to create spaces where people can truly live well. September, 2024. Egypt is banking on a series of mega real estate projects to revitalize its economy. First came the $35 billion Ras Al Hekma deal with the UE's ADQ to develop a 170 km stretch of prime Mediterranean coastline in northern Egypt. This deal, the largest single foreign direct investment in Egypt's history, proved a lifeline for the country which was grappling with debt. It also helped pave the way for debt reduction along with an IMF package and several FDI mowers with EU countries. Additionally, the success of the ADQ development plan set the stage for the more recent $21 billion Southmont project, also located along the northern Mediterranean coast. The project to be developed by Egyptian real estate giant Talat Mustafa Group in partnership with the Egyptian government, is expected to attract investments worth $20.7 billion and generate sales of $33 billion. Alongside other initiatives, such as New Alam City on the Red Sea coast, these projects are expected to attract foreign tourists especially from higher spending segments in Europe and Arab countries. More importantly, the Southam project is expected to create 1.6 million direct jobs in construction and related industries, significantly boosting Egypt's economy. While the scale of these projects is unprecedented, they follow a model first established decades ago by Egyptian entrepreneur and construction pioneer Sami Soiris through the creation of the El Gauna township along Egypt's eastern coast, or ASCOM, building sustainable communities in 1989, Soiris founded or ASCOM development with a vision of creating sustainable communities that blend seamlessly into their natural surroundings. The company's first project was a groundbreaking endeavor on Egypt's Red Sea coast, in an area known for its untouched beauty. Image credit, sourced from Orascom development the vision was simple, to build a town that offered not just homes, but an entire living experience. It began modestly, with homes for friends and family, and eventually expanded into a full-fledged town complete with hotels, marinas, golf courses, schools, hospitals, and retail centers. This holistic approach became the blueprint for Orascom's future developments. As Omar El Hamamzi, Orascom Developments Group CEO, explained, you start by building homes, then add hotels for visitors, followed by activities that make use of the environment like marinas, golf courses, and downtown areas. Gradually, a small community grows into a town with permanent residents. Expansion beyond Egypt by the early 2000s, the success of El Gauna became evident. This virgin spot on the Red Sea, as the CEO described it, had blossomed into a bustling yet serene town. Its success was not only due to the scenic location but also due to how the development integrated with the environment, preserving natural lagoons, wildlife, and land escapes. Over three decades later, Orascom has expanded its model of integrated living across five countries, revolutionizing how people live, work, and play setting new industry standards. From Egypt's Red Sea shores to the Swiss Alps, Orascom's developments have transformed environments and lifestyles alike. El Hamamzi attributes Orascom's success to Soiris's passion for life, nature, architecture, and design, which shaped the early projects. According to him, Soiris's lifestyle reflected the ethos of the communities Orascom sought to create air places where residents could enjoy a balanced life amidst beautiful landscapes, modern amenities, and sustainable practices. Today, Orascom operates 10 towns in countries such as Egypt, the UK, Switzerland, Montenegro, and Oman. Each town is designed around core principles, respect for nature, sustainability, and enhancing the quality of life for residents and visitors. These towns are vast, integrated communities, often spanning millions of square meters. El Hamamzi highlighted this point, 
stating, the aggregate land bank we have is 100 million square meters. On average, each development encompasses millions, not just hundreds or thousands of square meters. This scale sets Orascom apart from traditional real estate developers, positioning it as a leader in creating vibrant, self-sustaining towns. From Egypt to Switzerland Orascom's expansion has been driven by both passion and opportunity. Samis Oiris's love for the sea and desert led to the development of multiple coastal communities along Egypt's Red Sea, such as Makardi Heights and Taba Heights. These areas offer pristine beaches and modern, comfortable living. Similarly, in Oman, the town of Jebel Sifa, located 40 minutes from Muscat, exemplifies how Orascom adapts its vision to local contexts while retaining its core ethos. Residents can enjoy activities like kite surfing, and take a sunset boat ride, all within a community designed to blend into the desert and coastal environment while continuing to work remotely. Image credit, sourced from Orascom Development Switzerland presented a different challenge. The village of Vandermatt, nestled in the Swiss Alps, had been a military base during the Cold War. After the military withdrew, the local economy faced collapse. Recognizing Orascom's expertise, the Swiss government invited Soyrus to advise on revitalizing the area. Despite being a foreign investor in a country known for strict real estate laws, Orascom was granted an exception allowing it to develop the town while preserving its cultural and social fabric. The result was a transformation of Andermatt into a thriving ski resort town, with luxury hotels, residential properties, and a renowned golf course. Andermatt now boasts 180 kilometers of ski slopes and is a leading Swiss destination, demonstrating Orascom's ability to adapt its model to diverse topographies. This partnership with local communities is a hallmark of Orascom's approach. Creating sustainable towns Orascom's towns also emphasize social and economic sustainability along with being in harmony with the natural environment. By creating jobs, supporting local businesses, and fostering community, Orascom ensures that its towns continue to thrive. In Andermatt, for example, the development revitalized the local economy after the military's departure. The COVID-19 pandemic has further highlighted the appeal of Orascom's towns. As remote work became more prevalent, residents realized they could live in these idyllic settings year-round, rather than just for holidays. What was once considered a second home is now becoming a primary home, El Hamamzi noted, illustrating how the pandemic reinforced the appeal of Orascom's integrated communities. A timely pivot under El Hamamzi's leadership, Orascom development has shifted to focus on core competencies and profit centers moving away from operational aspects. The recent sale of its 73% owned subsidiary in the UE for approximately $40 million is part of this strategy. This deal also involves writing off 18 million Swiss francs from Orascom's total debts, according to media reports. El Hamamzi told in an earlier conversation, as part of our growth strategy, we recognize the need to transition away from owning and operating everything. This move is geared towards achieving profitable growth, enhancing customer experiences, and unlocking the stored value in our assets. The group's strategic realignment has led to double-digit profits since 2022. According to its H1 2024 results, Orascom development logged an adjusted net profit of 41.9 million Swiss francs, up 35.6% from H1 2023, with real estate sales up 59% to 433 million Swiss francs. El Hamamzi's leadership has been instrumental in the company's transformation. With 19 years at McKinsey, focusing on high growth and turnaround projects, and a background spanning Egypt, Europe, North America, and the GCC. He joined Orascom in 2020 at a pivotal time. Despite challenges such as the COVID-19 pandemic and Egypt's currency devaluation, he successfully tripled sales and shifted the company from a family-owned entity into a true multinational, inviting the world to live, work, 
and play or ASCOM's success lies in its ability to create spaces where people can truly live well. From Egypt's serene beaches to Switzerland's snow-capped peaks, or ASCOM's towns offer something for everyone. The CEO shared an anecdote from Switzerland, where the local community in Andermatt was initially skeptical about or ASCOM's plans. However, after seeing the success of developments like El Gauna, they embraced the project, voting in favor of the revitalization. This local support, combined with Orascom's vision, has been key to the company's continued success. With 10 towns thriving and more on the horizon, Orascom is not just building Homer so it's creating a new way of life. If you like this video click on like button and if you have any comments provide in comments box. If you still not subscribed channel, please subscribe. Also click on bell icon so that you will my video notification immediately.